Australia's undefeated champion Black Caviar is full of life after completing a month's quarantine following her historic 22nd victory at Royal Ascot. After two weeks pre-export quarantine in the UK and a further two weeks at Werribee, she was excited at the prospect of heading home to Belgrave South via Caulfield. I think she's happy. She'll be happy today to get out in the paddock today. Um, she's really looking forward just to cut loose and be a horse. Um, but she's done really well, so uh, all, all, like fingers crossed, hopefully she might race on. She's a bugger for um, everything being the same, so she loves everything being the same. So uh, she's had a holiday, she's got the ticky tour around the world, so now she wants to go back home and just relax. Peter Moody's assistant trainer Tony Hayden said the mare appeared to have recovered well from her injuries sustained in the Diamond Jubilee, but that a decision had yet to be made on her racing future. Uh, to me, uh, look, not that we've been able to do anything, so she's basically had box rest, and, and basically, so, but it all, all to me looks pretty good, so onward and upward, but we'll find out in the next few days, I suppose. So. Also completing his quarantine today was new stable mate, the Italian stay of Wala EC, who has been purchased by stable clients for a tilt at the Caulfield and Melbourne Cups. He's gone really good. He's settled into Australia really good, so uh, he's, he's humming along just nicely. We haven't sort of missed him. He, he's been getting worked every day since we've seen him, so um, and he'll just go, just go straight into, in amongst the mix. If you're a betting man, would you put him up near the top? Oh, I think he's, what, 50-something dollars in the, in the betting at the moment, so he's worth a dollar each way. Another chapter is closed today in the story of Black Caviar, but with Tony Hayden hopeful of a racetrack return, the nation now waits with great anticipation a decision on her racing future.